Hello again and welcome back. Uh, another tech tip video here. Uh, today, Google Spreadsheet and Google Documents. I'm going to show you how to use the paint format roller to apply a similar format to selected text or neighboring cells. A quick and easy way to uh, get your document looking the way you want it to look. All right. Starting off in Google Docs, this is just a regular Google document and uh, oftentimes when you do formatting you do it after the fact so you type all the text and then you want to go back and make it uh, prettier good looking so the paint format uh, tool is really helpful because sometimes instead of having to mark up multiple sections and then change the attributes and size and formatting and all this stuff you can use the paint format so you just do it one time so if you want to mark up your headers for example you can say okay well I want that to be maybe in uh, consolas and then I want it to be size 24 and I want it to be bold and that's how I want all of these headers to be but I don't want to have to go back and click 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 so what I do is I highlight what I want to be formatted and then I click my paint roller paint format roller click it one time and then when I highlight this text now and let go it's going to inherit that same paint format now the cool part is, and I'm going to undo that, control Z. Uh, the cool part is that you can also then double click. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to say do that, and then I'm going to double click. And then it's going to stick there. So now whatever I paint, I paint this one, it's going to inherit it. I'm going to paint this one, it's going to inherit it. It's going to paint this one, it's going to inherit it. Until I click the paint format roller again. So that's a pretty uh, quick way of doing things. Uh, or say I want to do, you know, sentences, highlighting sentences. I might say, okay, well, here's what I want a highlighted sentence to look like. I want it to be bold. I want it to be uh, cursiva. And um, I want it to be size 10, for example. Then I can say, okay, double click, paint format. And then I want to do, you know, maybe just select the text. Maybe just a word by double clicking it. Maybe even a word up in the heading, doesn't matter. Um, I can do whatever I want as long as I have that paint format roller going. And that's how I mark up uh, in a document. All right. Okay, let's take a look at the paint format uh, roller in an Excel sheet or in a spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet. I can do the same thing. So here I'm looking at a spreadsheet. Uh, that has some addresses and things like that in it, but it's all uh, adjusted differently and I want it to look a certain way. So for example, instead of making every cell do what I want it to, or maybe if I want to make cells in column A and column C look the same, that's kind of a pain to, to mark up. So I'm just going to work on one cell. I'm going to say, okay, this cell here, I want it to be maybe red and I want it to be centered and then in the middle and I want it to be bold. Uh, and I want it to be a little bit larger. Now instead of doing all of those clicks for all of these cells, I simply click on that cell, click on my paint marker, and then I say, let's do these ones. And now I do it again, and then maybe I do these ones, and it just inherits it. Now in the spreadsheet, there's no double clicking. that You can only single click one time. So you can single click one time and then say, Let's do all these cells as well, but it works the same otherwise. And that's a quick and easy way to format cells uh, or data in your spreadsheet by inheriting or formatting it like some other cell.